question for all of you out there. There's two trains of thought. One is to cut off all of the nail and screw holes so that it's just beautiful wood. So if by some miracle this project turns out looking good, then hey, nice and pretty. The other thing is to leave all of the holes in to kind of keep that reclaimed wood look. Kind of curious to know what everybody else thinks uh, because this is sort of a, I'm on the fence. Uh, I want them if, on the one hand, it would look better without them. On the other hand, it kind of keeps some of the authenticity that, yeah, this used to actually be something else. Okay, let's see if we can hammer these out any. board down a whole lot left to go I don't think that many nails is worth removing to salvage this little piece of oak but I'm not gonna throw it away think the clamp on my bench is going to really do much but we may try it does have a limit to what it can hold. But I'm surprised at how well it did hold. when it fell. Oh well. We might still be able to get some use out of it. Oh, there's wood on top. 
top. Well, duh, no wonder it can't come out. Okay. I need to get it as perfectly straight as possible so that when I hit it, it goes, all the force goes into pushing it out instead of bending it more. Yes! All right. One stubborn one left. In this case, it might actually be a good idea to cut off the nail where it's bending and then hammer just that piece. These dainty little things will probably break. These are real cutters. <laughs> Here we go. Sometimes you just got to think smarter, not harder. I mean, really? You needed that big of a nail? Don't know if I can cut this one. Here for the cobalts. Okay, that's all the short pieces. Now, the long pieces. Oh. Ow. It's always scary when you think you hear something metallic and you think it shouldn't. So you're like, crap, is there a nail left in here? If I miss a nail, She's gonna tear it up, my planer. Just enough. Okay. I'm afraid to say anything, but this is almost going too easy. This one now since it goes the other way. Almost seems easier cutting it off first and then hammering what's left. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, vice grips make an excellent fulcrum. Nice little rounded edge, perfect for frying these out. So these are actually square head. Might as well see if I got something to fit those real quick. Like concrete in the freaking holes. Or just 
just 30 years of dirt and dust. Okay. Sometimes the easy way is to just do it the hard way. Feels like that one's actually sort of messed up the wood. some of course a screwdriver was designed to do that good girl. I really should have gloves on for this Is that a broken off one? Please don't let there be one broken off in there. I might need to get the metal detector and see if I can check for anything when I'm done. All right, there's all of the stuff that is metallic that could have torn my planer up. Hopefully, that was all of it. There's none left. And voila, there you have it. All of the screws and nails have been removed. All of the wood is hopefully nail free and ready to plane. Uh, as you see here, we got four side pieces, two little blocks, two something another corners, uh, the trim molding, and then the long pieces, three of those. These were the under pieces that were holding it together. What you saw before, they had already been broken up, but there was technically four of those filled with nails. I don't think it's worth trying to salvage that. It's already split anyway. It will probably split any, even more. So as of now, there is no plan to salvage those, but at the same time, I'm not gonna throw them away quite yet. So this is what we've got. Now to get it cleaned up, planed, and see what we have. Now, from what I've heard, I've heard a lot of people say this, and it's sort of doing it for me too. As I'm thinking about what I was going to do, the project is changing in my mind. And I've had a, a few different thoughts, tearing all this apart, getting it ready. And I had a question for all of you out there. There's two trains of thought. One is to cut off all of the nail and screw holes so that it's just beautiful wood. So if by some miracle this project turns out looking good, then hey, nice and pretty. The other thing is to leave all of the holes in to kind of keep that reclaimed wood look. Um, I think I actually want to go with the reclaimed look, leave all the imperfections, the screw holes, the nail holes, and if they happen to be in the piece, I think I want to go ahead and build it. I'm kind of curious to know what everybody else thinks uh, because this is sort of a, I'm on the fence. Uh, I want to, if, on the one hand, it would look better without them. On the other hand, it kind of keeps some of the authenticity that, yeah, this used to actually be something else, which is a lot of what I'm going for out of this, sort of this project. So, again, let me know what you all think, and uh, 
let's go start getting this cleaned up and planed out and see what we had to work with. It. 